Hello, my dear jewelry lovers. Today I will tell you the story of one dazzling brooch, the owner of which was a the rebel princess, younger sister of the British Queen. What do you associate with the image of Princess Margaret, the younger sister of Queen Elizabeth II? Her rebellious antics, of course, and her manic addiction to smoking, alcohol, and drugs. Yes, the media tried to turn Countess Snowden into a kind of antipode of the always impeccable monarch. However, we should not forget that the youngest daughter of King George VI and Elizabeth Bowsleyan was an extremely popular member of the royal family both in Britain and abroad. She knew how to attract attention not only by name and status, but also by her spectacular style. In the 50s of the 20th century, the editor of the popular publication Picture Post remarked, the news in the kingdom is created by Princess Margaret and her outfits. The only sister of the reigning monarch was also well known for her love of jewelry. She amassed an impressive collection of inherited family heirlooms, donated jewelry, as well as pieces purchased by her personally. Today, I want to draw your attention to an interesting brooch from the rebel princess jewelry box. Jewelry in the form of a heraldic lily, studded with diamonds, was a frequent companion of Margaret Rose at various events. The exact origin of the precious accessory is unknown. Some sources suggest that the brooch was a gift to the young princess from a certain shipping company in the late 1950s. The diamond fleur de lis was first presented by Princess Margaret, paired with a lotus flower tiara and pearl earrings. The royal's spectacular appearance took place at a ball at the Victoria Harbour Government House during her visit to Canada to mark the centenary of the colony of British Columbia in 1958. Margaret Rose used the piece of jewelry regularly in the late 1950s. The heraldic lily complemented the princess' lavish look at the movie premiere of the musical Gigi at the Columbia Theatre. It is necessary to pay tribute to the daughter of monarchs. Her dark blue velvet dress and snow-white ermine stole attracted more attention than the movie. In 1959, a diamond brooch adorned the wearer while attending a concert organized by the Royal Ballet Charitable Foundation at the Royal Opera House. The next decade, Bourbon Lily also spent in the status of our heroine's favorite jewelry. On December 15, 1960, Princess Margaret attended the wedding ball of King Baudouin of Belgium and Fabiola de Moray Aragon at the Royal Palace of Brussels, accompanied by her husband, Anthony Armstrong Jones. The diamond brilliance of the brooch echoed the grandeur of the Poltimore tiara and the magnificent tech diamond necklace. In 1962, the diamond fleur de lis brooch adorned the Countess of Snowdon during Jamaica's independence celebrations. Princess Margaret and her husband arrived in Kingston as representatives of Queen Elizabeth II. After touring the city, Margaret Rose gave a speech declaring the island nation's independence. In the spring of 1963, the British royal family hosted King Baudouin of Belgium and Queen Fabiola during their state visit to the UK. Once again, the charming Margaret shone with a diamond brooch. During the Earl Snowden couple's tour of America, the diamond fleur de lis adorned the corsage of the royal sister's dress. The couple socialized with Hollywood stars, dined with the president and first lady, and just had a good time. Then the press literally attacked them. The reason for this was the expense of the trip. According to media reports at the time, they spent about 30,000 pounds. This visit was remembered by the host for the luxury of Margaret Rose's outfits and jewelry. In 1986, the princess used a diamond lily as jewelry for her headpiece, a small turban with peacock feathers. The extravagant accessory matched the theme of a costume party organized in honor of Lord Blenconner's 60th birthday, called the Peacock Ball. The gala was held on the famous island of Mustique in the Caribbean Sea. This paradise corner has witnessed many scandalous feasts of British Bohemia. Princess Margaret loved the island. There she felt free and uninhibited. Unlike many other jewels, Margaret Rose continued to use a diamond brooch in the shape of a heraldic lily 
Almost until the beginning of her protracted illness, one of the jewelry's last public appearances was at a concert at the Royal College of Music in 1995. The Countess of Snowdon attended the event with Queen Elizabeth II. After Princess Margaret's death in 2002, the Fleur de Lis diamond brooch was not among the jewelry sold by her children at the famous Christie's auction in 2006. The jewelry remained in the possession of the second Earl of Snowdon and Lady Sarah Chateau. What do you think of the brooch? Would you wear it on holiday?